Right now at five, the UW Board of Regents voting to fire former UWL Chancellor Joe Gao. And an alarming increase in whooping cough cases in La Crosse County. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. Multiple people are injured after a two-vehicle crash in Westby. According to Vernon County Sheriff Rory Torgerson, at about 1.45 p.m., emergency crews were called to a vehicle rollover on the 200 block of State Highway 27. The severity of injuries are unknown at this time, and the incident remains under investigation. Earlier today, the UW Board of Regents voted to fire former UWL Chancellor Joe Gao. News 8 Now's Allison Fergit attended that meeting in Kenosha. Allison. Ken and Emily, the Board of Regents didn't waste any time this morning, promptly moving to closed session for around 30 minutes before voting to fire Joe Gao. The decision to fire Gao over his role in producing pornographic material will strip him of his tenure and end his hopes for a teaching career at UW Lacrosse. Gao says the decision goes against the region's commitment to academic freedom and freedom of expression. Because the people who fired me today aren't a board of regents, they're a board of hypocrites. They talk about the importance of free speech and expression, and then they fire somebody who actually exercises it. Gao says he intends to continue fighting for his rights and plans to take the case of his dismissal to court. So while Gao's fight within the UW system may be over today, we can expect this issue to continue through the legal system. Reporting in Kenosha, Allison Fergit, News 8 Now. Allison, thank you. The UW Board of Regents have not yet released an official statement after this morning's vote. Well, as Greg has said it all week, it's warm, dry, and that's how it's going to be the <laughs> entire weekend. Not, we couldn't ask for better Oktoberfest weather, Greg. Oh, uh, really? Minus the morning fog that you might have to contend with could be dense. Otherwise, it's been really a great stretch of almost summer-like temperatures. These temperatures we really should see at the end of August, maybe close to Labor Day, but so far everyone got into the 80s. We're still sitting at 82 in La Crosse, 82 up in Eau Claire. Other areas are in the low to mid 80s. Even Minneapolis 85 to give you an indication. Now there's a weak little front up to the north that's not going to do much, but that there is what's left a tropical storm heading towards southern Indiana. Now with that flow coming around it, that's what's allowing our surface winds as you feel out there kind of pick up out of the north northeast because that would be the direction it'd be coming from. So that'll be about the really the only thing you'll notice outside besides the sunshine and a few clouds is that north wind there throughout this evening for Oktoberfest. No issues, very mild conditions and for high school football up in Eau Claire well, and everywhere really else. And we're looking at fantastic conditions too, getting back down to the mid 60s with plenty of sunshine turning to clear skies and then overnight really similar temperatures mid 40s in the coldest spots to about the mid 50s in the warmest spots minus that fog which will be probably around like 5 to about 8 a.m. maybe as long as 9 a.m. later on we'll kind of break down when this warm stretch will actually end uh, but it will it will come to an end soon. All right well we'll enjoy it this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you Greg. Well, Wisconsin flags are flying half staff today to honor a fallen World War II soldier. On this day in 1944, U.S. Army Air Force Staff Sergeant Ralph Bode's aircraft was shot down on a bombing mission over Kassel, Germany. Last December, his remains were identified and flown back to his hometown of Racine, where he will be laid to rest today. Seasonal change is known to bring about illnesses like the flu and common cold, but one respiratory infection is on the rise in La Crosse County, especially in young children. News 8 Now's Michael Germain is live in the newsroom with the details. Michael. Ken and Emily, officials from the La Crosse County Health Department report that over 50 cases of whooping cough have been confirmed this year, with 38 of those occurring just in September. We've been seeing an increase in whooping cough, also known as pertussis, all across the state of Wisconsin. We'll have some years when we have more of a spike, and then typically it tends to come down after a couple of months. According to McLean, this pattern is quite typical for an infection of this kind. Whooping cough is a bacteria that is spread by coughing and sneezing, and so far the health department has seen roughly 70 cases, with many of them in young children. About 70% of the cases that have been reported have been in school-aged children, so basically 4 to 18. The new school year is bringing many children in close proximity to one another, making for an increase in infections. It's especially a vulnerable time for babies who don't have the same protection from vaccines. According to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, about half of all babies who are diagnosed with whooping cough end up in the hospital. But it's not just babies who are at risk. 
The same can be said for pregnant people in their third trimester. If they end up giving birth with whooping cough, their child could be at risk. Now, the DTaP vaccine, which is often given to children and infants, is the best way to prevent the illness, according. All right, Michael Germain in the newsroom. Thank you, Michael. For more information, you can contact the La Crosse County Public Health Department or visit the Department of Health Services website. We'll have those posted. Before tomorrow's Maple Leaf Parade, the route will be taken over by the YMCA's annual Maple Leaf Walk slash Run. For 25 years, the race has been a key fundraiser for the Y's annual campaign, offering a half marathon, five mile and 5K options. Participants picked up their packets and bib numbers at the Dahl family location today. The half marathon kicks off at Riverside Park at 7 a.m. tomorrow. October festivities kicked off this morning with one of the most cherished traditions, the tapping of the golden keg. A ceremony began with a performance of the German national anthem, but of course this year one person was missing. A moment of silence was held for Carl Friedlein, who sang the anthem for decades. He died back in May at age 94. The Grenadier General says it's a remarkable feeling to have the opportunity to pay tribute to Friedlein. I was so happy that they asked me to do it, to tribute, to tribute to Carl, and uh, the fact that we get to remember him today and smile and have him smile down on us is just great to be a part of that. After the anthem, folks crowded the remainder's garden stage to watch Festmaster Mike Bacalars pour the first stein out of the Samuel Adams Golden Keg, officially marking the start of the celebration. And speaking of beer, a certain national holiday happens to coincide with the Oktoberfest weekend. Tomorrow is National Drink Beer Day. September 28th is the birthday of Arthur Guinness, founder of Guinness Brewery. Beer lovers like to point out that there is a brew for practically every taste, way beyond IPAs, ales, and lagers. There is also a wide variety of seasonal flavors. Helene has made landfall. A look at the widespread flooding and damage left in the wake when we come back. Make your tailgate tail great at hy V. Get brats or patties, just a dollar. Avocados, 68 cents each. And select 7-Up 6-Packs, $2.98. In store and online, Friday through Sunday, only at hy V. It can be backbreaking work all day, every day, pretty much on your feet. So it burns me up when Eric Hubby says people in Wisconsin don't work hard. The guy is a multimillionaire California banker. He has absolutely no idea what we're going through. He's living the high life out there in a big fancy house. He even brags about being in the 1%. Listen, don't come here and tell us we're not working hard when we are just getting by. Eric Hubby doesn't respect us at all. The guy's a straight up jerk. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Get 0% APR on 2024 Sierra 1500 Denali models. That's over 6400 in average finance savings. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. It seems like everyone in Washington is either too far left or too far right. I'm Rebecca Cook, and like most folks in Wisconsin, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'll stand up to Democrats to fight for a secure border and stop wasteful spending. I'll stand up to extremists like Derek Van Orden, who wants to ban all abortions with no exceptions. Like you, I'm fed up and ready for change. I approve this message because it's time that we sent one of us to Congress. COVID-19 cases are on the rise. Get the updated COVID-19 vaccine at hy V. Schedule online today or just stop by any hy V pharmacy. No appointment necessary. Plus, get your flu shot and earn a 20-cent fuel saver only at hy V. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more.
Dame Maggie Smith, one of Britain's best known actresses, has died. Her sons released a statement saying their mother died peacefully in a hospital early this morning with family and friends by her side. Smith's long career included iconic roles in Harry Potter and Downtown Abbey and my personal favorite, Hook. Smith won her first Academy Award for Best Actress in 1969 for her portrayal of an unconventional school teacher in the movie The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Smith was 89 years old. Tropical storm Helene is wreaking havoc across the southeast, dumping rain and causing widespread flooding. This after it came ashore along Florida's Gulf Coast as a major hurricane. Authorities say more than two dozen people have died. CBS's Tom Hansen has the latest. Entire houses are missing or flattened in on themselves. Michael Presley Bobbitt captured these images of Cedar Key this morning, just south of where Hurricane Helene slammed into Florida as a Category 4 storm, packing sustained winds of up to 140 miles per hour and a 15-foot storm surge. Say a prayer, friends. Despite orders to evacuate, Bobbitt rode out the storm, checking on his community. I was trying to make it to my mama's house, but it's neck deep here. I'm not able to get any further. Florida's governor says there were thousands of rescue missions overnight. This team in South Pasadena called out for people who might need help when several homes caught fire. Helene is the third hurricane to hit the Big Bend region of Florida in the last 13 months. The damage in, in those counties that were really in the, the eye of the storm uh, has exceeded the damage of Idalia and Debbie combined. Storm surge engulfed much of Florida's western coastline, but Tampa General Hospital stayed dry, surrounded by a flood prevention wall. Flooding is widespread, including farther north into Georgia. Overnight in Atlanta, rescue teams brought a couple, their baby, and two dogs to safety. With this one, the vehicle was, was traveling in through the water, and the vehicle started to float, and it floated off the roadway. They were able to get out of the vehicle and get on top of the vehicle. Helene's high winds also knocked out power to an estimated 3 million customers all across the southeast. Even as Helene is weakening, it's still a threat to communities in the Carolinas and Tennessee. At least 50 people were sent to the roof of Unicoi County Hospital in Tennessee after floodwaters cut off the facility from land. Rescues were underway Friday afternoon. Tom Hanson, CBS News, Tallahassee, Florida. A look ahead to the Maple Leaf Parade. Details on our broadcast and ways to watch when we come back. Warm conditions continue this weekend into early next week, but we do have some more seasonal temperatures in the forecast. I'll break down when that'll happen coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. While families struggle to pay bills, Harris and the Democrats are wasting our tax dollars on their extreme liberal agenda, giving government checks to illegal immigrants, funding a Madison clinic where minors get transgender therapy without parents' consent, pushing high schools to allow boys to compete in girls' sports. Senator Baldwin fights for this madness. Tammy Baldwin, radical, extreme, and wrong. I'm Eric Covdy, and I approve this message. Dings, dents, scratches, big crunches. You know where to bring them. Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. This is a Pishke Motors Collision Center hail alert. If your vehicle is damaged in one of the recent storms, bring it down to our drive-in lanes for a quick estimate. We help with insurance claims and get your vehicle back in shape at Pishke Motors Collision Center. So when the dings, dents, scratches, and even the big crunches happen, bring them to Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. As the mom of a daughter, I'm livid that boys are now being allowed to compete in girls' sports. It's just wrong, and I blame Tammy Baldwin. She voted to let biological men into women's sports. Worse, Baldwin co-sponsored legislation to force girls to share locker rooms with biological men. Tammy Baldwin is failing to keep our families safe. Tammy Baldwin's extreme values are wrong for Wisconsin. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising.
Senator Baldwin claims she's doing something about the fentanyl crisis and says she got a major fentanyl bill passed. But Senator Baldwin is lying. The bill's main sponsor, Senator Tim Scott, had this to say. As a primary sponsor, I've never had a single conversation with Cammie about this bill, period. Career politicians like Senator Baldwin are always lying about something. Senator Baldwin, she's extreme, radical, and wrong. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. A reminder, the iconic Maple Leaf Parade kicks off tomorrow morning. Yeah, News 8 will not only be in the Maple Leaf Parade, but we will also be streaming it live. You can catch our live coverage on Channel 8.2 through our app and on our website, news8000.com. Lots of different options. Our coverage of the parade starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. We, of course, will be on the call for mm -hmm. the second consecutive year. That was basically your first that weekend was in like the lacrosse area. That was my second day <laughs> on the job. Nice little uh, baptism by fire to learn everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm cross. excited about tomorrow. Yeah, I got my feet wet and mm -hmm. now I kind of know we know what to do a little bit better. That's right. And <laughs> we've got uh, Greg Barnhart. I believe he'll be giving us an initial forecast to kick off the parade broadcast. Yeah, minus any fog in the morning is going to be a fantastic day, too. And if you thought we have had a lot of 80 degree days, well, we're climbing up there pretty much. Right now, we're up to 17, including the one today. We have three more days to get there. We're not going to reach the record. The record for both LaCrosse and Claire was 1908, 22, and 19. Uh, you can see the fewer years there going past. So we were right now at 17, 14, respectfully, for both locations. And we'll probably add three more days because we got to September 30th, minus the cold front coming through. So, yeah, we've had quite a bit of stretch and quite a few. 80 degree days so far in September. So we still got the morning fog or low clouds to contend with through the weekend, although may not be quite as dense as we go further on, but still it'll be there in the morning hours. Summer like through Monday, as I mentioned, and then much cooler. We have a cold front that'll come through Tuesday. Now, 60s seem kind of chilly compared to the 80s, but that's actually where we should be pretty close to it. We'll be a little bit below that going in. Overall, the big pattern is the jets way to the north. So the whole western half of the U.S. is really warm as all the cold air is locked to the north and even the jet pattern and the storms are locked to the north. The only thing that we are actually contending with is down to the south is what's left over a tropical storm as it begins to push up. The thing that's actually going to keep our winds north is this. So throughout the weekend, you'll feel that north, northeast. It'll turn a little bit through the weekend, about 5 to 10. Occasionally, we might see some stronger gusts further south. You go due to the influences of that, but that's about it, along with a few high clouds. We had fog this morning, quite dense and some areas down to zero, the Wisconsin River along I-94 going up towards Eau Claire, Black River Falls. That's going to be a similar issue, and it didn't really clear off until we got to about 9 or 10 in some of the areas and stayed there almost to 11 in certain Mississippi River areas. So we'll probably see that once again going through tomorrow. Same time frame after 4, probably forming by 5, and then beyond that, it could become quite dense in certain areas, isolated areas through about 8, 9, and then I think by eventually we get to 10, We'll start seeing that begin to lift. So maybe the parade might see a little bit along the river if it forms there, but I think by the start and there afterwards, it should be gone. Something to keep in mind of. There's your temperatures for the Maple Leaf. Absolutely fantastic, too. Minus the fog in the morning and that north wind picking up, still getting well into the 70s. Your high temperatures tomorrow, a few degrees warmer. So we're looking at mid 80s and Sunday, a little bit of change in the wind direction, so you might drop a degree or two, but still. We're in the 80s, so you really can't complain about that. We do have the front coming through, and that'll be coming through once we get past there, uh, basically by Tuesday, and that'll bring the temperatures back down to the mid-60s and breezy conditions on Tuesday. Now, the cold front doesn't have much moisture to work with, so we're not expecting any shower, hardly any clouds with it. Our temperatures then kind of stay in that seasonable range, which is the upper 60s and near 70 for the rest of the week. And the one thing you notice in that whole forecast is dry. Yes. The next chance of rain looks to be maybe next weekend, but that's still that far out. Even that's kind of slim right now, too. So it's going to be a dry stretch and a warm stretch here, at least through Monday. But uh, you will notice it come Tuesday. Sure. Yeah. But this weekend, I mean, everybody oh, can yeah, enjoy Cran Fest yes. and October Fest without any rain. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Craig. Mm -hmm. The Big Ten springs into action. How the College Football Conference is addressing the nation's blood shortage after the break. PCOS is a condition that impacts millions of American women. Monday on News 8 Now this morning, join us for a Mindful Monday discussion about PCOS symptoms and how you can get help. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. 
I remember coming home from school and pounding on the door, but my mother wouldn't answer. She'd be passed out inside. You know, my mother had a drug abuse problem. She struggled with addiction to prescription pills her whole life. But today with fentanyl, one pill, just one pill can kill. So I've worked with Republicans to stop the flow of fentanyl that's poisoning families across Wisconsin. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. This fight hits close to home. There are over 21,000 Wisconsin veterans struggling to pay for rent and utilities. Thank you for your service. Many are also facing issues with their mental health. Thank you for your service. We must do more to help these heroes who have already sacrificed so much. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Words simply aren't enough. I'm sorry. Make a difference by donating to this critical Wisconsin survival safety net today. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Okay, 500 deluxe garden gnomes. Wow. I only meant to order five. There's not enough money in my account for these. I'm gonna get charged. Two things I just can't deal with, overdraft charges and garden gnomes. Mm. But your BMO Smart Advantage checking account gives you an extra day to avoid an overdraft fee. Nice to see a bank cutting people some slack. Oh, well, mistakes happen, and we give you time to correct them. So you don't like gnomes, huh? What about that one? <laughs> That one I like a lot. BMO. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The Big Ten College Football Conference is joining the push to boost the nation's blood supply. Together with Abbott Healthcare, it's organizing the We Give Blood Drive, and the school with the largest blood donation wins a million dollars. The drive comes as the nation faces a critical shortage in blood supply. Yeah, according to the American Red Cross, the national inventory dropped more than 25% in July. It issued a call to action for eligible donors to give blood or platelets. Dr. Jennifer Ashton told CBS Mornings every two seconds someone in this country needs a blood transfusion. There are a lot of ways to save lives. I always tell people you can learn CPR, you can sign up to be an organ donor, you can give blood multiple times and save multiple lives. Now to learn more about the Big Ten We Give Blood Drive and find a donation center near you, you can visit BigTen.org slash Abbott. And we were just talking before the break that because the Big Ten has expanded so much mm -hmm. across the country, it's, you know, a couple of years ago, this would just be a regional part of the country. Yeah. Now it extends 16 almost, campuses, you uh, said. Thereabouts. I've, I've literally forgotten how many teams. Yeah, have, no, it's a reach. really neat way to involve the masses in this, this critical shortage that we have. Absolutely. And it's one of the easiest ways to make a huge impact. And I... I highly encourage it. I'm, you can usually get free t-shirts after it too. There you go. <laughs> we'll have another look at tonight's forecast right after the break. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. These places employ us, sponsor the Little League team, and feed and clothe us. That's why I'm proud of the work I've done to support our business community. I know that the side of the aisle you're on matters less than being on the side of our main streets. No party has a monopoly on good ideas. I'm Steve Doyle. And I'm working for our businesses, working for our communities, and I'm working for you. If you want selection, then that's what we've got at King Furniture. More mattresses. Did you know you spend a third of your life sleeping? So you better have the best mattress you possibly can. And we have those here at King Furniture with a huge selection to choose from in every price range. Lay down and relax. Take the time to find the exact mattress you want because you're going to be sleeping on this for a while. King Furniture. Nice people. Nice furniture. Lane's Farm and Fleet's fall jean sale is going on now, and all jeans are on sale. We're so confident we have the right brand, style, and fit for you that we'll give you a free $5 Farm and Fleet gift card for every pair of jeans you buy. 
Like men's special buy Carhartt jeans, 40% off, just $17.99. $20 off women's Levi's classic bootcut jeans, only $39.99. And men's key work jeans start at only $18.99. Find value at Bloom's Farm and Fleet. Dutch Boy, it's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically. Dutch Boy Paint. My husband and I are going through IVF treatments now. It could be our only chance to have a family. But Donald Trump's plan could ban IVF in some states. My husband is in the military. He volunteered to serve. We are patriots and we go where he is assigned. What if we end up in a state where IVF is no longer legal? What will we do then? I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. With a Medica health plan, you're not just covered, you're cared for. All right, warm and dry is really the main story of the forecast, minus the morning fog that you may contend with Saturday and Sunday. We do have a cold front coming through Tuesday, but that 67 is not far off to where we should be. So yeah. it will be more seasonable next week, but still dry. Enjoy the weekend. All right. Thanks for joining us at 5. We'll see you at 6.